Uh, hi. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to put Ben 10 aliens, 3D models of them, so you can like change the lighting and stuff and rotate them however you want, to on top of videos. Um, now, uh, this will be needing just like two files. One of them is going to be a you Note know, Video Pro, which is this. So, like, some stuff that you couldn't do with the normal Node video, you will be able to do. I will leave a, the APK for it in the description. And a zip file that has all the aliens that I have, at least, for now. I will update it uh, whenever I do get some other aliens. So, yeah. Let's click on the plus to create a new project. We're going to click on the pl red plus. And you're gonna go media, video. I will advise you to like look up some tutorials on Node Video before doing this. Just you know, just so you're like a bit familiar with the program, you can like add your own stuff and things. Now this will you can either add it on top of you can either add the aliens on top of videos or images. Doesn't really change it, just adds like one thing. So then you're gonna go on the red plus again. You're gonna add 3D, 3D model camera right here. I'm gonna click on the other plus. 3D import. Now here's the fun, and fun in this. You're gonna go here. You're gonna look for the extracted file that you extracted from the zip that's in the description. Now here we go. Should be called my Ben 10 3D models. Now this has a bunch of 3D models. Now there's two types of 3D of aliens in here. Ones like uh, upgrade. Now you will see it has like multiple zips. Some of them don't have zips. Now you have to import the zips. What's that like? Uh, or like uh, something dot zip. Now it may have like two or three, even like zips. And that's just for animations because I can I don't know how to add two animations on the same model. So it's just like the the same model but just different animations. So some of them like upgrade here. Now to activate the animations, you're just gonna let this load real quick. And boom, you're gonna activate animation. Click on like the animation on. And some models like this might just be like giant or might be like pretty far so you can like go to the transformation 3d to like scale them down move them with this and oh wait uh you can undo I'm gonna just go back a bit so yeah boom just gonna like push them a bit you know i might just like copy this go to the other ones paste yeah you might not understand some of the stuff here just I advise that you should probably just learn some just some of the basics on that video you can rotate from the rotation and yeah um, some models if you just like move the position just a tiny bit it will just like fly off screen so with these models, you can like change it just by like the uh, this thing. So it was like 36 one. If a model like right when you move it a bit up, it like goes off screen. You're gonna do two, and it's gonna go up by a bit. But I would recommend that you can like move it from the camera, uh, and you can't use a group. It has to be like a camera 3D, or else it wouldn't move the model. Uh, so yeah, boom, and then I'm just gonna make it as if upgrade is like standing in my living room. So boom, there we go. Okay, and now to make the animation work. Now first of all, I'm going to make it so that uh, upgrade is the same size as the video so the video ends and upgrade and the upgrade won't just like keep going so it ends up, I'll make it like end about here like uh, here end it good like here 
just make the video a bit shorter so there we go now they end at the same time now to make the animation run you're gonna go to custom model animation you're gonna go to evolution just keyframe from the beginning to the end now some models the animation won't show up and they'll still be like in a t pose or there won't be anything when you uh, go and turn up the evolution at the end key keyframe you're gonna turn it to one and to do that you're just gonna click on animation one and you're gonna you're gonna see that there's another one that says like animation two you're gonna click on animation two so yeah now as you can see with this video i don't have a tripod or anything so it's moving now you're probably like oh no i'm gonna have to keyframe it it's gonna be super hard no it's not i'm gonna click add tracker motion tracker you're gonna like track whatever like i'm gonna track the ground and yeah analyze it's just analyzing so it's just like uh, some devices mine the tracking might not be really good and at that point sorry but you are gonna have to do keyframing but um i think that they fixed it in the update uh, but yeah oh sometimes when you open up the pro apk it will say there's a new update uh if you want to download it you're gonna say no thanks click on no thanks so that it doesn't remove the pro now you're gonna go to apply to target gonna go to camera fly and now you can see he does move a bit he like move shift shift it to like a bit right there i'm just gonna change that by just like going to here and yeah basically just moving him a bit right here change yeah you know what i just yeah it, it since i added it to the camera and not the model which if you do add it to the model it's not gonna work that's why you use a camera as well multiple reasons and yeah so it should work now perfect now the the model does go off screen a bit and that's because the camera so you can like maybe like scale up the camera a bit Go to 3D settings, 3D settings, FOV, and you're gonna just like scale it down a bit. So like the model goes back a bit. Yeah, should be pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Now you can add this to like the end of your like transformation videos. Again, if you do like, you should like learn some stuff about Node Video. Looks like his animation is going way too fast. So I'm just like gonna move it from one to like half, like 57. Now, as I mentioned, you I said that you can change the lighting, but I haven't changed it. Well, that's right. You're gonna go to custom model material. There we go. And then you're just uh, with this lighting. You can change like multiple things about the lighting. You can change where it is just you can make it more reflective so it has more light now with like the diamond head 3d model you can go to type reflection so it'll, like reflect act and then change it you can change like uh, different stuff different kinds of reflection and yeah there's like multiple stuff about this now as i mentioned some of the models don't just like immediately have like the textures on top of it so what i'm going to do for that is as you can see, let's say like, uh, I don't know, how about, I think Arctic Wana, yeah, Arctic Wana doesn't have the 3D models right on top of him, so I'm just gonna like change it a bit, so that he does, uh, I think this is, he's scaled uh, up way too much, some of them are scaled up a lot, some of them, once you put it in, you might not see, and that you, at that point, you're just gonna either try importing it again, or just, like, try, like, changing the lighting. Maybe it's, like, a bit just far, so you might see, like, a little, like, weird dot that's not meant to be there. Then that's probably the model. But yeah, just need to scale this down a bit more. And yeah. 
Now in the file that I just like opened up to get the Arctic Wana model, you can see that there was like a weird image that had like Arctic Wana's colors. And that's the texture. So we're gonna use it in just a tiny bit. But now so now some of the models you can see they're on like the folders for them. Some of them like have a OV next to their names that stands for omniverse some of them have a a uh, what is it called yeah af that's for alien force some of them don't which the which just means that it's classic but some of them like arctic wana which are from omniverse don't so it's kind of like weird but you can like check the textures and check the models to see which like type because i have like two uh, uh, like i have like three types of forearms in uh, this like uh, folder so you, uh, three one is for the classic one is for alien force one is for omniverse you can follow that like there's the omniverse one there's the normal one and uh, there's the uf i put uf just because it says for ultimate uh, ultimate alien force so yeah an alien force force so yeah and now to add the textures you're gonna go back to the place and now but you're gonna import image in the same like 3d camera file uh, group thing and you're gonna import the image that was with the 3d model zip now go here and you're gonna make sure that the image is behind the custom model thing and then boom now you want to make sure you're gonna see that there's like a weird outline that isn't actually the same as where the model is and that's fine just because you added the tracking so you're gonna extend this to make like the it work you're gonna go to the image and make sure that it's extended so it's the exact same size as the like as the like your clip the box that like the, your videos in basically I don't know what it's called but yeah there we go um I think that's about good uh, yeah I just need you can like change it from here instead of like manually doing it which is much easier um yeah, maybe like a bit down. There we go. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, the weird like box is now the exact size as your like clip like video you can zoom out and zoom in and you can if you like drag this blue you can like change it like this so yeah and after you do that you're just gonna go to custom model custom model here material you're gonna go to model texture you're gonna change it to image and boom you can see that it has added the textures now if you don't want it to be like behind it from here you're just gonna hide it with this eye icon so there we go and we can like change the lighting and stuff like this maybe make it like a bit brighter or make it a bit accurate now to add shadows you just take your whole like camera thing just duplicate it and you want to just add it behind so it's going to automatically add it behind now uh, there we go so you have this behind you're going to go to transform and you're gonna move it just a bit to here now it's gonna screw up your textures but since this is uh, the shadow you can actually just delete the actual like textures and yeah there we go then you're gonna go to add uh, asset store but you want to make sure that you're selecting the camera not the custom 3d model asset store blur and Gaussian blur and you know just like Maybe change it up a bit. Then you might just like want to flatten 
model a bit yeah okay and then you want to make it all black so you're gonna go color correction then color grading well no, not this one uh you're gonna go to add color grading. you want to pick the basic color grading and then go to tone make sure the exposure is all the way down make sure the whites is all the way down and the blacks is all the way down and also the highlights you want to make sure it's just that uh, it's pure black and then uh, you can just go to effects blending and then you're gonna change it to multiply like change it a bit might just add like a bit of gaussian blur now uh, i'm just gonna move the gaussian blur front of the blur so it's like oh, in front of like the blending opacity thing you maybe make it a bit more yeah that looks pretty realistic to me and yeah you're just gonna go to preview resolution 100 percent so you see uh like exactly how it is in the final product and yeah that's about it and uh, here's the final product Okay, I forgot to tell you this, but you have to make sure so that before you export, you're going to make sure that if your model has textures, you want to make sure that the textures also, that the, they are at the texture and all the 3D models and the video all end at the same time by like changing this place and you just export by like going on this like weird like uh thing here you can change the quality and make it like whatever you want change the resolution just export okay just wanted to tell you that sometimes while you'll while you'd be exporting and you're like checking the time or something or my maybe just you just uh, just go to export and then suddenly like it crashes or like it goes out of the export mode you just fix that by either not checking the time while you're exporting or like not doing anything while you're exporting or um just like lower the quality like from high to maybe like medium